Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm just going to play this intro clip here. And yaddy yaddy, and my computer's slow. Anyway, um, I haven't made a post in a couple days now, and the reason for that is because I've been working on the something else with programming. So I'm just going to show you guys what I've been up to for the past couple days. It's not actually very complex, it's just, um, it's something I haven't done with, uh, C-sharp yet. I've been, um, working on programming some image recognition software, pretty much, in C-sharp, and one of the difficulties was the efficiency of it. So, <coughs> I've created a whole class uh, here, loaded with functions, and I'm just going to go for the find function here. So what it does is when you create the object, it stores the bitmap, and I'll first go to the, that function here, the constructor. So it actually um, it locks the bits, and what this does is it locks them in um, read-only mode. Now, uh, <coughs> sorry. Now there's something that you should know when you're um, using a bitmap and you're going um, from reading a bit to um, writing a bit or whatever or a color or a pixel or whatever you're actually unlocking and walking continuously so it's very inefficient to go like map dot set pixel or map dot get pixel or whatever it's called and of course you're calling a function continuously so it's extremely inefficient so what I've done is I've put um, I've locked the bits right and put this it into the bitmap data class and then in the find image function I get the pointer using unsafe code you can actually use pointers in C sharp and I actually haven't used pointers in C sharp before so this was actually a bit of a struggle for me so I got the the pointer to the fir to the start of the um, the rave data and um, I was going to use the format 24 <coughs> um, BPP RGB but I ended up using the 32 instead because the 24 you have an offset of 1 it's really stupid and because of the way I set it up I couldn't actually figure a way to add one to the to the memory location because um, if here I set the data type here to a pixel pointer because every time you increment it by one it actually increments it by the size of the pixel of the, the pixel data structure which is four bytes So, as you can guess, all I'm doing here is I'm just brute forcing the image. So, I have all these things here, all this code, to make it um, more efficient. Try to optimize the code as best as I could. Um, so, what it does is it goes through this compare byte, and this um, pretty much just checks the range between the two um, bytes, and it looks for the first pixel. Now, this uh, won't work very well if you're using... Um, <coughs> if you're using uh, pixels with an alpha or if um, for some odd reason only like the first pixel or whatever doesn't work right so the first pixel of the image has to be intact for this to work it um, reduces processing time a lot by using this method um, if, if um, for the by the uh, if for some odd reason, for that rare chance that the first pixel is off, it, this function will not find the image. So pretty much what happens is if it finds the first pixel, it loops through the images and it checks the, you know, the image, the pixels in correlation to that location that it's currently at, <coughs> as if the image were to start from that location. <coughs> And then it counts, um, I've uh, calculated a, fa a max fails value, 
which is based on the min per minimum percentage divided by 100 or whatever, I mean, not pretty much the mini minim ah. minimum percentage times the number of pixels inside of the image that you're trying to find. So, uh, if you guys don't believe me how um, efficient this is, I'm just going to show you guys exactly how efficient. I've actually got a sort of a test going up here. As you can see, the browser is actually a rather large image. <coughs> so, you'd expect it to take some time to process through. <coughs> and excuse my voice, and just woke up. So I'm just going to show you guys an example of this working. Yes, continue. Yeti, yeti. Right. So I've actually added an image here. I'll just quickly go find the code. And the class I've made is very easy to use. Um. <coughs> right. So what I do here is I get the browser screenshot pretty much. It's not really a screenshot because you can um, take it while it's behind something. I'll show you in a sec, of course. And then it, um, uh, this here, it's not very efficient, but I did this for editing. <coughs> I should probably make it only do this little bit here when you press the edit button. So pretty much when you press the edit button, it goes to the editor, and then you can just crop it, or whatever, right? Um, you can just crop the image. So how to use this? You pretty much just put the image you want to search, right, in the parameters, the first parameter. The second parameter is the color variance, and the next parameter is the percentage the minimum percentage <coughs> of the image that you want to find and then um, for the find I'm just going to move to here the find function here all you do is just finder dot find image and then you put your image in there and then it returns results in a in into a, a two dimensional interray So I'm just going to click start here, and I've programmed, uh, and it's not finding it. That's one of the problems with this whole pixel thing. It's pretty sensitive. I'm just going to try increasing the variance to 10. Hopefully it would, should work. I've been told though that flash makes it a bit difficult with the images because of some sort of smoothing thing. I probably also screwed up some sort of image when I restarted my computer earlier today. <coughs> okay, space button. Whatever, I'm just gonna quickly, um, that's really annoying. For some odd reason, it's not saving my session. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly recrop the image and stuff. <coughs> it's probably just a one time thing. But as you can see, it has its bugs or probably screwed up somewhere. Um, I'm just going to open this up to just make sure it's good. Whoops. And I uh, hate when it opens up in Photoshop. It takes forever. And apparently my preview thing is busted right now, so I'm going to try to paint.
Okay, anyway, uh, in paint here you can see that there's a cropped image there. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this over to the images folder here. And then I'm going to close this, and I'm just going to add it in. But uh, as you can see though, the whole image recognition thing is pretty sensitive. I didn't put anything too overly complex in it. It just pretty much brute forces the image to find a match or a close match um, to the image that I want to find. Or that you want to find pretty much. But if I can get this working, it, you should see that it only takes about 10 to 20 milliseconds to find the image and uh, the CPU usage while it's doing that isn't overly high. And of course, you know, it fails sometimes. And this is why I've been working on it for quite some time, trying to make it all work. Can't even find the image and like I said before, I've been told that uh, Flash has some sort of smoothing thing or whatever that makes it difficult to find the um, image. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. I should probably end it here before this clip gets too long. So now you've seen what I've been doing, and hopefully it gives you guys some ideas of, you know, <coughs> other ways of making bots and whatever. I guess it really just doesn't like me today. I probably have to go look into the formulas again a real pain in the ass. Anyway, uh, this is Hot Noob here. Come check out my blog, and I'll see if I can get a screenshot of it working later on.